What do you would you want to do? What's your 2024 agenda? Because I feel like we live in such crazy times that that is one of the things I feel we hear less about. There's this entire thing that is set up known as the mainstream media that puts certain people on to promote them, certain ideas, and then it pushes certain people away. It tries to tell you that certain people are too scary and all of those things. And also then it doesn't uh, actually do something called journalism, right? We don't have real people asking the right questions for the most part when you go to, when you watch these White House press conferences or the president never, never does unscripted press conferences anymore or anything else. So what does Joe Biden do? Well, he went on Seth Meyers. I don't know how this guy has a job. Uh, and here he is uh, being asked about the 2024 agenda. Uh, he thinks it's the 2020 agenda, but here we go. What do you, would you want to do? What's your 2024 agenda? Because I feel like we live in such crazy times that that is one of the things I feel we hear less about. Look, the 2020 agenda is to finish the job. For example, we're now in a position where we have the strongest economy of any major nation in the world, number one. We've got a way to go yet. Inflation is down, 880,000 manufacturing jobs. You know, we have uh, 14 million new jobs. The unemployment rate is the lowest it's been for the longest time. We're building wealth for people. But it really, we have to do more. First thing I have to do is stop it from being turned around. For example, you said you talked about the border didn't pass. Well, guess what? We're going to pass that border. It's overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly supported by Republicans and Democrats in the House and Senate. But because, I don't know this for a fact, but I was told that Trump was picking up the phone, calling the Speaker of the House, saying, don't let it pass. Why? Not because he doesn't think it's good, because it will benefit Biden. That's no way to run a country. That's no way to deal. We didn't need, even when we had real divisions back when I was a young senator um, among Democrats and Republicans. You, that, that, that wasn't the way it worked. And look, I think, let me put this is not your father's Republican Party. This is, they got about 30 percent of the Republican Party controlling it all. And, uh, and I think it's, we're going to break it. All right. First off, I'll give the doctor credit. Whoever's juicing them up, the juice kind of worked, right? Like that was pretty sensible for the most part. Couple, couple little flubs and slurs, but not terrible. It was all dishonest about inflation. And yes, we have more jobs back because they laid off all the people because of COVID. Like it was all, it was all just a series of lies. But for Joe Biden, in terms of putting sentences together, like that was actually pretty good. Uh, he did say it was the 2020 agenda, not the 2024 agenda. But again, we, the bar is set so low and everyone knows it. The whole time you're watching that clip, aren't you, you're just sitting there at the edge of your seat. Like, when's he going to bring up corn pop? When's he going to just mumble and fumble and then say, oh, I shouldn't say that. Or they didn't tell me I was allowed to say that or whatever. It's like th we expect nothing out of this guy on top of the fact that that's not a real interview. Seth Meyers is a corporate hack who is handed a piece of paper and they say, oh, you have your job at NBC. We pay you $15 million. It's not to do what you think is right. Certainly not to make people laugh. It is just to be a mouthpiece for the regime.